Michelle royally enraged at what Melania just secretly did that she refused to do for eight years the United States was temporarily distracted from its petty grievances when much of its southern coastal regions were battered by hurricanes. First, it was the Texas coast with Hurricane and Harvey and then Florida was slammed with Hurricane Irma, and the damage was catastrophic. The people of America were glued to their TVs and social media, waiting to see how those areas would fare. That didn't last long though, and the divisiveness came back with a vengeance. Hurricane Harvey hadn't even fully receded when the left launched an absurd and unfounded attack on the First Lady for leaving the White House in heels. They didn't even wait for the plane to land before they branded her ridiculous and embarrassing to the United States. She obviously wasn't any of those things, as was evidenced by the fact that she brought her sensible footwear along and changed on the plane. Her trip to Florida was much anticipated for more than one reason, and the media didn't wait to start talking about what she did and didn't do while she was there. The First Lady, who has shown us her love and compassion time and again, started advocating for the residents of Florida before she even touched the ground on Marine One. AOL commented on the First Lady's video from Marine One. First Lady Melania Trump and President Trump headed to Florida on Thursday to assess the damage done by Hurricane Irma. The Category 4 storm tore through the Sunshine State at the beginning of the week, causing catastrophic damage. Melania Trump tweeted footage of the devastating flooding from the President's helicopter Marine One before they touched down in Naples. The President can be heard in the background, questioning, can they pump the water out? An unidentified male voice responds, yeah, that's right. With drains full and massive amounts of water still in neighborhoods, pumps will be required to remove the remaining water. According to the Naples Daily News, South Florida water managers began moving large pumps to northern Collier County. Flooding of the Cockahatchee Canal has trapped some residents within their homes. Engineers expect the pumps to assist in emptying the floodwaters into the canal which in turn empties into the Gulf of Mexico. After their air tour of the damage, Trump and the First Lady helped hand out lunches to victims of Hurricane Irma. The Trumps were joined in Naples by Vice President Mike Pence, Florida Governor Rick Scott and Florida Senator Marco Rubio. The people of Florida were obviously thrilled with the first couple's visit and even thanked them for not being like the Obamas, who had largely ignored disaster zones like this while they were in office. It seems that the world was obsessed with Melania's footwear not so much because it was inappropriate, but because they were just taken aback by a first lady who ventured out to get her hands dirty with what could literally be unwashed masses. The comparisons between our current and former first families are endless, and both sides think they're irrefutably right. But it's hard to imagine how anyone would think that Melania came in second in that FLOTUS competition, and she's only been in that position for nine months. Even the Washington Post had to admit that he didn't do a half-bad job appearing in Naples on Thursday. Trump, First Lady Melania Trump and Vice President Pence passed out sandwiches and bananas and shook hands with those in the Hurricane Irma-stricken community. If you check out the video above, you'll see a guy who is actually pretty adept at pressing the flesh with not necessarily Trump supporters and doing the small talk thing. These are all good images for the White House. Trump also focused almost exclusively on empathy in his comments about the hurricane, we love these people, and we're going to be back, and we're going to help. And the job that everybody has done in terms of first responders and everybody has been incredible. And, by the way, that includes people who live here, because you see the people immediately getting back to work to fix up their homes like Bobby and like some of the others. So I just want to tell you. We are there for you 100%. I'll be back here numerous times. These are special, special people, and we love them. You can bash the president and first lady. You can say that you liked the one before more, but the fact of the matter is that the United States went for eight years with Barack Obama in office, doing whatever his liberal puppeteers wanted, and after he was gone, we didn't take his recommendation on a replacement. Maybe that was all because of his policy, and maybe it was partly due to his first lady's overinflated staff and abuse of her employees. But regardless, 
America chose the Trumps and that's who is representing us now. If Americans had wanted an overbearing woman with liberal ideas who was out of touch with reality, we would have elected her and gotten Slick Willie as our flotus. If that mental image doesn't make you say, thank heavens for Melania, I don't know what will. We don't need no